This video was sponsored by Aura. Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Right Click. This week's episode is a little bit delayed, but let's just jump right into it. Bounce to the rhythm if you know you got to flow. Sinking as the steps if you want to get low. So first, let's talk about some new releases. We have a blue Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro. It's a max gaming exclusive that can be found on their website for $49.99. Since it is a max gaming exclusive, you can't find it on any other site. I think this blue colorway looks really cool, but not as iconic as that red colorway from the Saturn Pro. Do you plan on picking one up? Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new blue Saturn Pro. Next, we have a new keyboard release coming August 29th. This is the Zen Aim Low Profile Hall Effect Keyboard. This keyboard was a Japanese exclusive only and really hard to get into the United States, but it's finally being set to release for US for a price tag of $280. It is a bit pricey, but they are using a custom PCB with custom switches and everything in it is 100% custom to that manufacturer and they are the world's first low profile Hall Effect board. I'm really excited to try and get my hands on it. I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be since it is a very hard to get drop already, but let me know what you think of it in the comments below and do you plan on picking one up? Next, we have the Arbiter Studio slash Vancer Akitsu. The Akitsu looks to be a Starlight small slash medium clone with flat side humps and there's a little bit of a back flare. This mouse has been teased for a while. It is a carbon composite mouse mouse as they say i'm really excited to see more final mouse clones come onto the market up until the beast x we only had the vanzer gretic say which isn't really the best mouse in today's standard as it's only a 3370 but you can get it for 50 dollars, and it's a really good clone but i'm glad to see more companies come out with those clones even though it's just vanzer again and in past releases we have the optimum tech zero mouse v36 i believe that just came out it is a mod kit for your viper v2 pro that gives you a truly just unlocked fingertip experience were you able to get one let me know in the comments below and if you have one, let me know what your thoughts on it are as I'm not really a true fingertip user, so I've never been interested. And speaking of never being interested, I get around 10-20 calls a week from data collectors and spam. And this is due to companies selling off my data to large data brokers and phone companies not working to keep my data protected. Recently, at and revealed that all its customers' calls and tax records have been exposed in a massive data breach. And it hasn't even been a few months since they admitted that over 70 million of their customers' social security numbers had ended up on the dark web. The stolen logs also contain a record of every number at and customers called or texted. So even if you don't use at and if you text someone who did, your number has been exposed. So what can you do to protect yourself? I use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura will alert me if they find my phone number or any other sensitive information has been compromised. And they give me fast fraud alerts if anyone tries to use that data to access my credit or bank accounts. Aura does so much more to keep me and my family safe too. I also get transaction monitoring, a VPN, antivirus, password manager, and parental controls, and identity theft insurance. I get all this in one app at one affordable price. I can also get their AI-powered call assistant to pick up unknown calls on my behalf to screen them for spam or scams. Then the AI forwards legitimate calls to me so I don't miss appointment deliveries or emergencies. And it protects me from harmful text messages by filtering out known spam numbers and scanning links and messages for phishing threats. I'm not leaving myself and my family vulnerable to data breaches. And if you don't want to either, you can go to aura.com forward slash stubby and try your first two weeks for free. Thank you so much for Aura for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to more peripheral news. And in Pulsar news, Pulsar has just released their first white copy of the ES sleeve, stating that they have improved quality control and better stitching. As you know, the previous sleeves did have a lot of issues with the stitching just peeling up after a week of use, especially with thicker arms. So my question is, what were your guys' opinions on the original ES sleeves? Are you excited to try the new and up-to-date ones? And how do you feel about white arm sleeves? And in other Pulsar news, they're offering a custom mouse service set to start in late September 2024. You'll be able to choose between five different switches, various scroll wheels, battery sizes, encoders, shell colors, including transparent ones and shapes, including the X2V2, X2H, X2A, and X2H Mini. They promise to deliver a truly personalized gaming experience, and I'm actually really excited to see this as there's a lot of colorways that I want in my X2 that just don't exist yet, like a true 4K X2 Mini pink, instead of me having to do my finagled one that I currently own. We'll be going over more details when we get some more information on set release dates and what shells and colors are gonna be out to release. So stay tuned for more details. Arbiter Studios has released SOCD in all their Polar boards. This includes the Polar 75, Polar Pro, Polar 65, all the custom ones, including the Nacho and the Yuki Aim. This will be very similar to what we see in Himu, Wooding, Razor, Pulsar, Drunk Deer. All the boards that currently have SOCD, this will be the same technology. And this is supposed to make it a lot easier to hit counter strike in games like Counter-Strike or have very just unpredictable movement in games like Overwatch, as we stated in previous episodes. Have you updated your Polar 65 yet? If not, go do that. I'll leave a link in the description for the newest firmware to go 
check out the new socd feature and in other news we have high ground who has kind of teased a couple things regarding a new mouse and a convention and advertisement that they put for a different product they did show some of the leaks of the new high ground mouse this confirming a one piece collab and a borderlands collab the shape actually looks to be a lot more similar to a ulx clone with a tall center hump but we don't really know too much about it now we're hopefully expecting a 3395 or a 3950 with 4k or 8k hertz but like I said, nothing has been fully confirmed just yet. And we're just waiting to see what they bring to the table. And finally, Logitech has finally leaked a new mouse. This is a new shape, something that hasn't happened for Logitech in like, I'd say seven years. We get a new high quality new shape that isn't the diversity mouse or the G903, whatever it was, the G305 replacement. This mouse looks to be a G Pro and a G703 combined, similar to an NP01 is what it looks like. There's just a couple of leaks that we have from tournaments, Taobao, a couple of box leaks leaks from Hitoshi over on Twitter. Thank you so much for Mechanic FPS to bring all these leaks over to me for this episode. But with the Logitech, it has been confirmed to be a legit leak. A lot of people have been speculating that it's not real or it's or it's a false one, but we have confirmed boxes, box arts. We have the mouse seat in people's hands. We should be seeing a new Logitech release coming towards the end of the year, and hopefully it has 4K to 8K Hertz with their new Hero 2 sensor like the Super Light 2. But that should be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Thank you so much for Aura for sponsoring this episode hope you guys did enjoy leave a like if you did leave a comment what you think your favorite story was and i'll see you guys in the next one